Twitch. So this is our new puppy. We got him uh, about 10 days ago from Windy Hills Blue Tick Beagles in uh, Kentucky. And this summer, we're gonna be teaching him to run rabbits. And uh, we're gonna walk you through the process of how we're gonna do that. At about eight weeks of age, we start training our dogs. And the way we do that is we get a rabbit's foot or a piece of hide from a rabbit. In this case, we got a snowshoe foot. And I just let Barry sniff it and play with it. And a lot of times, let's drag it on the string, let him chase after it. If he gets good at that, what I'll do is I'll just drag it around and let him find it. Right now, he's about three months old. And at this age, we're gonna start um, putting him directly on rabbit tracks. And the way I do that is, around my house, when I see a rabbit, I put him right on the track. Now it's not important that he sees the rabbit, but that he uses his nose to track it. So tonight, what we're gonna be doing, what I do every night, is I'll put Barry on a rabbit track. It is kind of important that you know it's a rabbit. So if you see a rabbit, put your dog right on the track. Don't just let him go in the woods his first time because that's when they'll start running deer or a mouse or a chipmunk. Make sure it's a rabbit that they're running. So, we just spotted this rabbit. He's about 100 meters away, and we're gonna put Barry right on his track. Now, it's important that we know it's a rabbit. Um, we see it, we identify it, we make sure it's not a deer or anything like that. We're gonna put him right on the track, and uh, hopefully we'll get a few barks out of him. Okay, the rabbit's taken off. It's not a big deal. I marked where the rabbit was. I'm placing Barry right on the track. He's sniffing around. Your puppy should get excited since he knows what the that scent is. And it's okay if he doesn't the first time. It takes a little time to get used to. Now Barry's trying to figure it out. He's on that track. And now he's on it. Now don't expect your dog uh, to do this on the very first time, it's going to take a little while. Uh, it depends on the dog. Uh, Barry, the first time he did it, um, he did even bark. He just got a little excited. Um, but that's okay. Just keep on doing it day in and day out. Every night, in the evening or in the morning, it's a great time to spot rabbits. Maybe around your neighborhood, around your house like this. And just plop your puppy right on that track. Make sure they're on the track, uh, sniffing it correctly and uh, eventually they will bark and it shouldn't usually it doesn't take too long it took about uh, a week for Barry but then again he's three months old when we started him if your puppy's still having a hard time with it um, sometimes you can trap a rabbit and then uh, release it uh, that might get him a little bit more excited and chasing the rabbit but uh, I find that just putting them on a, on a track just like we did and uh, not even looking at the rabbit is the best way to uh, get them started. It gets them to use their nose a little more than just seeing it. Now what we're going to do is bring Barry through the brush and hopefully he can get his own start. I've placed the Alpha 100 from Garmin on his neck so that we can make sure that he doesn't run any trash. At this point in Barry's training, I only run him by himself. I want him to build his confidence, and I don't want him to pick up any bad habits. At the same time, I don't want him just following another dog. I want him relying on his nose alone to track the rabbit. This next clip is an instance where Barry is doing just that. Take a look. The other dog that Luke Barry will be running with is going to be Louie. 
I've selected Louie because he's very sure on, sure on the track and he has a lot of traits that I like. So what will be happening today is I'll be showing you how I bring Barry along with Louie and get them to work together finding a rabbit and chasing it. Okay, so Louie got the strike. And there we go, and Barry's opened up as well. Okay, you can hear them both barking. So, the reason I bring out Louie uh, with Barry is just for the purpose of uh, Barry learning how to pack up and respond to other dogs' barks. Um, I hunt almost always with uh, multiple dogs. Uh, so I need Barry to uh, work with other dogs and, and uh, hunt with them. So as you can see, you can hear both dogs uh, starting to work it here. And that's what, we'll, that's what we're looking for. It won't happen all at once. It'll take uh, several times, just like always. Uh, but the more we bring them out together with uh, Louie, the more they work together. And eventually he'll, he'll uh, become part of the pack. At this point... Barry's initial training is pretty much over. He's four months old now, and for the next several months, I'll be taking him mostly by himself. About six days a week, I'll be taking him out by himself to build his confidence, and maybe one to two days out of the week, I'll be taking him out with Louie to work on his pack building skills. I hope you found this video helpful, and I hope it helps you start your puppy on rabbits. Make sure to check out our videos on Beagle Boys Rabbit Hunting on YouTube, and thanks for watching. We're gonna